Hello everyone. Welcome to Kaviation Engineering YouTube channel. All right. So uh, today also I took a new lesson, ATA Chapter 24, Electrical System, Lesson Number Five, uh, System Warnings. So uh, uh, in this YouTube channel, uh, you can learn uh, more lessons regarding ATA uh, Airbus uh, 320 uh, family. So. If you are a, if you are a person who want to become a type rated uh, uh, certified technician or engineer or or else if you are looking forward to come to uh, aircraft maintenance field so these videos will be very useful uh, especially for you uh, so if you are a newcomer to this uh, youtube channel uh, i'm keshara vikrama singh i'm professional aircraft maintenance technician so i'm from sri lanka so yeah that's all and uh, don't forget to subscribe kvation engineering youtube channel so and also share the videos uh, with your friends and facebook or any social media so it will be helpful to your friends or relatives to get knowledge about aircraft maintenance all right so no need to waste the time so let's go to the lesson all right uh, now, uh, uh, yeah, this is the lesson today, ATA Chapter 24, Electrical System, General Lesson Number 5, System Warnings, right? Okay, so in this lesson, you will learn the warnings and cautions in electrical system, power generation system, all right? Okay, uh, now uh, this is the lesson content, uh, IDG uh, oil low pressure overheat and generator fault, battery two fault, generator overload, AC bus two fault, AC essential bus fault, AC essential bus shed and DC bus one fault, DC essential bus fault, DC essential bus shed, DC bad bus fault and emergency configuration. All right. Okay, the first one is IDG oil low pressure or overheat. All right. Okay, you can see the elect page over there. All right. All right. So, in case of an integrated drive generator unit, oil low pressure or overheat, right, marks the cautions comes on. Okay, you can see the master caution and oral warning sound on. Oral warning is a single kind, right? And the IDG fall light on the control panel comes on. Okay, this is the control panel. You can see the IDG uh four lights comes on in amber color right so the failure is shown amber in ecam page okay you can see the failure is shown amber in the ecam page in here also elect idg1 oil low pressure is showing right so idg1 oil overheat warning message appears when the idg oil outlet temperature is above 185 celsius just remember it right so idg uh, one oil overheat warning message appears when the idg oil outlet temperature is above 185 celsius all right so these are the flight phases okay okay the next one is generator fault right so uh, in in case of generator fault in case of generator fault uh, master cautions comes on you can see the master cautions comes on and the oral warning sound uh, it's also single kind and a generator for light on the control panel comes on okay this is the control panel you can see the generator for lights comes on and the failure is shown amber on the ecamp page okay you can see generator in amber color this is a fall right in here also elect generator one fault is shown so note that the ac bus one is supplied by j2 and galley loads have been partially shed right so in in uh, generator one fault uh, in this situation so ac bus one is supplied from the generator two okay you can see uh, this one right all right and also in this situations galley uh, is shed okay galley is become shed all right okay the next one is battery two fault battery two fault so in case of excessive battery charge current okay in case of excessive battery charge current master caution comes on okay master caution is here and the oral warning sound as a single kind and battery fall light comes on okay you can see here the battery fall lights comes on and failure is shown in the cam page okay you can see in cam page the failure is shown in amber color right in here so elect bat two false okay this is the same thing happen if the bat one also fail okay this same same uh, failure messages comes on so the fall battery has been automatically disconnected in this situation the fall battery is automatically disconnected okay just remember and the next one generator overload 
generator overload so in case of generator overload in case of generator overload the master quotient comes on okay here master quotient comes on and the oral warning sound single kind and the galley four light on the control panel comes on okay uh, in case of generator overload galley uh, four light in the control panel will be comes on okay you can see fault in amber color so failure is shown on ecam page okay in ecam page the failure also shown right so generator one is overloaded right okay so the generator load can be reduced by switching the galley off okay and on ground in case of apu generator overload the whole network is automatically shed just remember right in ground in case of apu generator overload the whole galley network is automatically shed all right okay the next one is ac bus 2 fault ac bus 2 fault so in case of an ac bus 2 failure the master quotient comes on right master quotient comes on and the oral warning sound as a single kind and the lower ecam display is lost in this situation the lower ecam will be lost right so the elac system page can be displayed on the upper display unit by maintaining the elac push button pressed in on the ecam control panel in ecam control panel there is a elac push button if we pressed in uh, we can uh, display the the uh, we can display the elac system page on the upper ecamm all right okay and the next one ac essential bus fault ac essential bus fault so in case of an ac essential bus fault in case of an ec essential bus fault the master quotient comes on you can see the master quotient comes on the oral warning sound as a single kind and ac essential fee for light on the control panel comes on okay this is the ac essential feed uh fold light uh, on the control panels comes on okay here the fold light is comes on ac essential feed so in case of ac essential bus power loss right in case of ac essential bus power lost the upper ecam display unit is no longer supplied and the engine warning display is automatically transferred to the display unit right so the system display is still available on request right so it means if you press the ecam push button ecam uh, ecam uh, control panel the elect push button this will be appear you can see the ac essential there's a fault right okay and the next one uh, okay ac essential bus shed ac essential bus shed so in case of ac essential bus shed master quotient comes on master quotient comes on oral warning sound as a single kind and failure shown amber in on ecam page okay you can see ac essential shed there's a fault in amber color you can see and also there ac essential bus shed there's a fault okay all right and next one dc bus one fault dc bus one fault right so in case of a dc bus one or two fault the master quotient comes on okay master quotient comes on and the oral warning sound as a single kind and the failure is shown amber on the ecam page okay you can see uh failure shown and elect dc bus one fault right dc bus one there's a fault so you can see uh failure shown on an amber in the page so in this case the dc essential bus is supplied from the essential tr and dc bat bus is supplied by dc bus two right so uh just remember in this case the dc essential bus right dc essential bus is supplied by the essential tr okay if the dc dc bus one is fault then the dc essential bus is supplied from essential tr and dc bat bus is supplied by dc bus two just remember okay in this situation and the next one dc essential bus fault dc essential bus fault in case of dc essential bus failure the master quotient comes on okay master quotient comes on and the oral warning sound as a single kind and the failure is shown amber on ecam page okay you can see the dc essential bus fault and here also elac dc essential bus fault all right and the next one dc essential bus shed okay dc essential bus shed in case of dc essential bus shed the master quotient comes on and the oral warning sound single kind and failure is shown amber on ecam page here you can see right and the next one dc bat bus for dc bat bus for so in case of dc bat bus failure the master quotient comes on here 
and the oral warning sound as a single chime and the failure is shown amber in he can pay you can see dc but bus fall then the battery one battery two also fall right in here elect dc bus dc bad bus fall is shown right all right in here also you can see the uh, fall matches appear uh, fall lights comes on in the control panel bat one and bat two all right okay next one emergency configuration emergency configuration in case of dual generator failure right in case of dual generator it means generator one or generator two failure the master warnings comes on master warning not master caution in this situation master warning comes on and the oral warning sound continuously repetitive kind right and the lower cam display is lost okay lower cam display is lost and elect emergency configuration is shown in red color right all right so uh, the elect system page can be displayed right the elect system page can be displayed on the on the upper display unit by maintaining the push button pressed in on the ecam control panel okay you can control panel there is a like push button so we can press in uh, and maintain it to press in continuously and then we can uh, display uh, we can uh, display elect system page on the upper display unit right so as shown on the elect page the emergency generator has taken over the essential work right in in here you can see the emergency generator has taken over the essential network in this situation emergency generator is taken over the essential network all right uh, okay that is the end of this lesson i think uh, you got to know about uh, good uh, knowledge about uh, system warnings uh, in elac 80 chapter 24 uh, electrical system so uh, thank you for participating in this lesson and next lesson uh, you will going to learn about elac system and uh, circuit identification is also very important if you work in uh, aircraft especially a bus so uh, next lesson i will uh, take it uh, as a uh, i will take it elect system and circuit uh, identification and uh, remember if you still not subscribe kvision engineering please subscribe and please share these videos with your friends relatives or if someone want to learn about aircraft maintenance so uh, yeah, that's all and uh, see you on next video. Have a good day for all of you.